Hey guys, I'm gonna try something a little bit different. Um, wish me luck. I will put everything in the bottom that I have mixed here. And I kind of mixed one shot, one shot deal here, guys. So. You know, that's a no-no to only do as much as you absolutely have to have. you want with the least amount of pain as possible. <laughs> oh, jeez, people. <sighs> jeez, Louisa. It's okay, because I can touch up my sides when I'm done. Let's see here. Alrighty. Looks like the white is a little more runny. It shouldn't be, though. Should have left some white for in the middle, but that's okay. Make sure I am on cold. And that's not normal, but with what's going on these days, you know, what can you expect? But I did want to let you know, this is the 18 by 24. And I was going to just do this on, like, a set of tiles, like I've been doing lately. But then I said, nah, let's go all out. I'm either going to do it and get it right, or... Do it and redo it. <laughs> See if, I can, if there's any bubbles in here, I need to pop without burning paint. Yeah, I don't think they're wanting to pop right as one. Now, I have a plethora of colors. I have a red mixed with, and it's just very thick at the moment, mixed with a color changing red. Oh, magenta, like I said, I'll just put it, I have got copper and silver and everything. I'll just put it all in the bottom for you. Um, because I really don't have room on the table right at the, at the moment to put all of them up. Wait a minute. Let me do this. The black and white is from Premier Acrylics. Boom. 
black and white. I hope I'm still recording. Not sure if I am or not because obviously uh, I just got a hair in there. Seriously. Okay, let me check and make sure I'm still recording. Mm, my phone's trying to die. All right, stop it. Okay, I'm recording now. I don't know if I did the whole time, but Premiere Titanium White in black. I have, like I said, the red is Premiere as well. It's a rose matter mixed with uh, with uh, um, red color shift. I have got Artist Loft Copper. Artist Loft Metallic Cobalt. Liquitex Basics Cerulean Blue Hue. Liquitex Basics Turquoise Blue. And uh, Silver. This is a combination of, of uh, Silver either way. Um, this is also... Uh, this is Liquitex Basics Diazazine, di di Diazazine, pur whatever, purple. <laughs> you can tell it's been a long night. Okay. Now, I'm not sure what I'm going to go with. I don't I only really need a few colors, but <clears throat> I want to end this night with a bang. So, let's see. I so want the reds. I don't know why I'm zigzagging, guys. I'm just, you know, you know, playing. Red. Put a little magenta. Might be way too much of a color palette. Whoop, I must have had a goopy in there. Those are really close to the same color. Did not think about that one. some blue a little bit of turquoise some kappa we should have put the copper. Ooh, that was a lot. Copper a little bit closer to the red. I'm just going to throw a bunch of colors in here. Seems like every time I just throw a bunch of colors in there, it comes out absolutely beautiful. Not sure of how or why. It just... When I don't... When I don't have a plan, it seems to... Uh, I, it seems to be a... Win win when I don't have a plan. So I'm not worried about a plan right now. Because obviously we're good without one. This one may be quite thick. I'm just going to throw them all in there, right? A little bit of everything. It's going to look like a rainbow. We'll find out soon what it's going to look like. And then we'll know what to call it, right? We either call it a muddy mess or pure awesome artwork. <laughs> okay. I need to slide some of these out of the way so I don't blow them down. I did kind of want a little bit of white in there. I think I'd already done that, but. And I have a special black. Might not be a good idea, but. I don't want just a drizzle. There we go. Put that in there. Okay. Not sure how I'm gonna blow this out. Haven't made that plan up yet. And I see I'm losing black, so I'm gonna go ahead and touch up my corner since it's coming off. Make absolutely certain that we'll go ahead and get them done. 
So no matter how it blows out, the black is done. And I know doing a piece like this is kind of tricky. Stretch and reach. But I really like to get the black done. I said before I start blowing anything. Um, make sure my sides are covered. Why wait when you can do it now, right? Why wait? around. Hopefully I'm not moving that canvas out of your view. I'm going to walk around and see if I can get this uh, white edges taken care of, which I know the white, I have no problem doing that. I'm going to, I'm going to wait on the white just to make sure I don't get any black that's on my fingers on the white. And I do have a little bald spot here. Go ahead and I can always get my sides like this and let them run off. Okay. Okay. Let's not blow over any cups. Whew. Fingers and fingers and toes, you know. Alright. I'm gonna do this on slow. And I think I'm gonna go half and half. And I'm not going to blow black over or white over. I'm just going to blow it out and hope for the best. I'm really happy with that. Um, I really think I'm going to be happy with that. Hopefully, this will show up nice and bright here. Um, you can see a lot more when you're in front of it. And wow. I need to fix this black, though. Mm. I don't even think I'm going to blow anymore or uh, anything. I think it's just perfect. Um, I might, uh, there's a lot of paint right there. A lot. Let's see if I can torch some of this. See? Oh, come on, torch. Come on, my faithful torch. Come on. Either way, pop some bubbles. So I don't put, um, silicone in my paints because the process of cleaning, no. I, I, I want to make sure that there is none, nothing like that I have to clean from the paint, from the canvas. Not that it's too much work, but 
It's just my choice, my preference. I prefer not to use it. And I think I just may leave that completely alone. Let me get down here close to it and take a look. Oh, you can see some of the metallics coming out. It's absolutely wonderful. Yeah, if I blow that one again, it's going to be a mess. But I would say I am extremely happy with this. Extremely. I have a little issue right there. Let's see if I can get my tweezers because I have a little monkey. I have a piece of mess in there. Tweezers, little tweezers, curved tweezers, always have tweezers. The one thing you need is tweezers. These may be too big. Where did that piece go? Looks like a little eyelash. Oh, that might not be an eyelash at all. That looks like it might be the paint. Not an eyelash. Okay, maybe I won't mess with that. I hear. I don't think you can see it, but I'm thinking it, it looks like a little white piece. It is, it's where it splattered over. Wow, okay. Somehow white splattered. I think that might have been the white from the beginning. Gotta take this and smooth it out. I got me a little bald spot. I don't know how I did it. This is why you definitely need to keep a little bit more going on in your containers for moments like that and that, which I thought was a eyelash, but it's not. It's okay. You can laugh if you want. I just don't have the lungs of a young, young person anymore. I do know I have a little muck here that needs to be fixed. Canvas said I'm eating it. Just going to eat it. Wow. If you would like this painting, please email me at kellysartistry1 at gmail.com. Come by and find me on Facebook. If it does actually last long enough and doesn't get sold, it will be going up on Etsy as soon as I can get as soon as I can get it up there. I'm not certain if I'm gonna resin it or put varnish on it. And this is only a, I'd say a real half inch. Yeah, it's not a three inch canvas. And if you'd like to see more paintings, you can hit my PayPal button and donate if you'd like. If not, that's okay. It just keeps me doing videos and wow. Like I said, I'm I'm really tickled with this one. First time out the wind out the door and boom, it's beautiful. Just enough uh space on either side. And I'm going to try to get you down to give you a close up. I'm gonna pause you first so I don't make you dizzy. Hey guys, I know we have run off, but take a look at that. White and the black. That's what I was talking about right there. It's not, I don't, that's not gonna dry muddy. I can tell from this angle. 
I'm gonna walk you around. Okay. Here we go. Look at that. That is just beautiful. And it would match any decor look. I have no idea what that is. It's kind of cool though. Look at there, it's like fire and water. Fire and ice right there. Wow. Not too many cells. Look at a little dot of silver. But I don't know if you can see any of the metallics in it. Shimmering, you might be able to. And then the light is in the way. But there you go, everyone. I think I may make, uh, I may try to make a coaster like this, but it would be a lot harder, so we'll see. Bye for now. I will show you the dry at the end. See you soon.